Tonight we're bringing back a familiar face, but one who's changed teams and now works for a company many of you probably never heard of. And I'm talking about Hubertus Mulhauser, and he's now the former CEO. If you remember, he's the former CEO of Wellbuilt, the maker of food surface equipment. He left that gig last year. He now runs a company called CNH Industrial. It's a British company. Oh, the Really, he still works in Chicago. That makes construction equipment, trucks, commercial vehicles, buses, safety vehicles for firefighters, along with the engines, transmissions, axles that go into them. You've seen them. It's under many different brand names. And CNH Industrial just reported a pretty solid quarter. And we always want to take the temperature of the heavy machinery space. But with Europe seemingly slowing and the U.K. poised to go over the no-deal Brexit cliff, there's a lot more to dig into here. So let's check in with Hubertus Mollhauser. He is the new CEO of CNH Industrial. Learn more about his company and the broader industry. You've heard us. Welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Okay, very good to see you. All yeah. right. Well, you're not with WellBuild anymore. We no, like no, that no, company. No, what yeah, happened? Yeah, you yeah, try to take well, new well, things? I had to go back to my home. You know that I come from heavy machinery, yes, construction machinery, agricultural engines. So when I was approached by CNH Industrial, I couldn't say no. Well, now, we want to tell me these are old, you know, Case, New, new Home. These yeah. are big Oh, well-known yes, names yes. if you're in the industry. Absolutely, and we are the leader. I mean, right. we're, I would say, when, when you think about Precision Ag, I, I, would, I would put us really at the forefront of that movement. We're the second largest agricultural manufacturer on the planet. Solid footprint in the U.S., South America, Europe, and also Asia. So we're doing very, very good there. Yes, I mean, I know Deere reports last uh, next week, they at the end of the week, and I know you guys reported terrific numbers Deere last time. Yes. This is a great time to be in your business, even though the world's slowing. The world is slowing, but you know, farmers had a tough, tough ride the last year. So right. we're coming off the trough right now. And even though farmer sentiment is kind of difficult right now with all, you know, the discussions on the trade war, we hope that this is going to be behind us during the year. And we think that our industry is growing. But so the we're truth actually is they need growth. equipment, right? They There's need equipment and we yes. got replacement demand right now. It's all driven by the digital revolution, which has arrived at farming right now. So all this precision ag, self-driving tractors, and, and that's exciting stuff. That's high tech stuff. For real. Yes, absolutely. That, that exists. I mean, we, we started, you know, automating our machines years ago, and, and we, we have, and you have it on the, on, the, on, the, on the photo there. So we have completely self-driving um, farms right now. So we have Bolthouse Farms, for example. They have completely automated equipment. And the footage that you see there on the photo, that's all from Bolthouse Farm. That's reality. That's today. That's here already. That's I mean, it's our incredible. technology. It really is. It's not iRobot. No, 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 it's no, a no, real no. thing. This is really happening right now. Now, your company is known as the technological leader, and something we champion in this country that didn't take off. And this show champion. LNG trucks, they made so much sense. Other than waste management, people really haven't adopted them. That's because they have natural gas from landfills. But yeah. you're, you're moving ahead with it. We're moving ahead with this. And as you know, we're not only a, a, an ag company, we're also a construction company. We right. also have one of the largest powertrain um, engine makers, and we do diesel and LNG engine, gas engines. And what we see right now happening in Europe is there's a strong shift away from diesel on the on-road side, on the truck side, to LNG. And we're at the forefront of that. And um, LNG is just so much better. I mean, you take the CO2 out, um, you basically take the, the, carbon, the, the NOx completely out of the thing, and also the particulate matter. So it's something that really works on highway. And we also see this now going into the off-highway market. So we see that our tractors under New Holland, we got methane tractors. Mm -hmm. So you got your bi biogas plant on the farm. You produce the gas that is then used in the tractor. You don't produce any CO2. And of course, the farmers love it because I mean, the, the cost of payback on the payback is great on that. But why, if we are the largest producer of, uh, of LNG and also natural gas. Why is the United States not keen on it? It's coming. I think it's coming, and we're pushing heavily for it. I mean, I mean, I think if you talk to farmers today and our dealers, they're extremely interested. And um, as we have solution ready, we're going to roll this out in the next in the next year. So, so this is one of the mega trends. You know, we got three right. trends. One is a digitalization. We're at the right. forefront of that, and the other one is moving away from diesel to ultimately electrification, but also to gas. And we're leading that. And I think you're going to see a lot more K's and New Holland and Steyr. We also have tractors right. that are powered by methane gas. Okay, I, I own a, I own a uh, olive uh, farm in yes. Italy. Yeah, and you a need farm, a new Holland. First of all, the stuff's expensive in Italy. They make it so that nothing... Yes. The, what is yeah. with the tariffs? What is with the add-on? I mean, why is equipment so expensive in some of these European countries? 
Well, well, I think we need it because there's a lot of technology in there. Talking about olive farms and, um, and um, self-propelled and automated um, um, tractors, we are, for olive farms, now launching a new Holland, which is fully automated. Good, because so, we take so, a lot of people to yeah. pick this you gotta, stuff. You, you know, gotta, we use this weird thing. Throw away your Messi and basically take a new Holland. I think that's what you have All right, well, you do. might sell me that. I don't know. <laughs> we, we'll produce, uh, you know, we're going to probably produce some, you know, 500 uh, bottles of Kramer's None Better. Yeah. Last question, Brexit. Yes. Everybody's worried about this. I'm sick of it. Could you just yeah. tell me I'm right to be sick of it? Yeah, well, we prepare for the Thought worst. So. We hope for the best. I still hope that they're going to remain. We have prepared everything. But, so, you know, everybody's thought about it long enough. If it, you really got to be a doofus if you're not ready, isn't it? Yeah, but we are ready for okay, it. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. I like yeah. your company. I yeah. like this a lot. Thank okay, you. that's Hugh Burton Smolhauser. He's the CEO of CNH Industrial. This is a very good technology company, and it's a good industrial. If you believe in the cycle like I do, man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.